let's just dive right in, open the filter formula, and if you don't have the formula help on, you can go ahead and click it on, and you can see a quick description. So this range, we're going to specify a range that we want to return, or a table of data, and then we can specify one or more conditions separated by a comma of how we want to narrow down our data. So I'm going to go ahead and select this table over here, and I want to narrow down by fruit, and then I can just use a simple equals and a double quotes to type in apples, if I can type that in, and we have it right there. Instead of using a direct text like this, I can actually reference a cell instead, and you could tie it to a drop down like this, and then you can see just like that. All right, let's go ahead and look at dates real quick. So again, open our filter function. I'm going to grab this data table again. This time I'm going to use my date column and then I'm going to use my cells up here. So I'm going to do greater than or equals to my start date. And then I can add another condition and add the end date by simply selecting the date column again and then doing less than or equals to my end date. Close that. And now I can simply toggle these dates and my date range of data that is returned will change accordingly.